Oh, buddy, and here again. Well, it's here. Look, here it is. The, not the end of the PSCD. That's the CD that I've been going on for for quite some time with blogs and audio booths and probably vlogs and that as well. It's taken a while, but we've finally got the CD, and now comes the sort of hard work of actually selling it. I've sent a few off. There are a couple of YouTube friends who've already bought them, and I've literally just posted uh, a couple of copies to America. Uh, not all to people that I know, I must admit, and we've sold a few to America as well. And once again, not all YouTube friends, so it's quite encouraging. I've sold quite a few via mail order. I'm not sure how many we're selling in the local shops that we're selling them in. But I thought I'd just show you. So that's the cover, and that's actually my photograph on the on the cover of the pier itself. And what we got, um, we've got a nice little booklet inside it as well. Because obviously some people, go, even local people, might not have seen it yet. Um, we've got a little four-page booklet with the photos and obviously all the info about all the all the music on there. 15 different tracks, all at bar one are original songs. The only uh, track that isn't an original song is actually a traditional Cajun song. So that gives you some idea of the type of music. Yes, it's predominantly rock music, but as I've said in writing press releases and things like that, trying to get some publicity for it, is that um, there's lots of there's rock music in many sort of guises. There's bluesy rock, there's sort of folky rock, there's uh, pop rock, some hard rock certainly as well, and more traditional type of rock I suppose, singer-songwriters, there's quieter songs, there's uh, uh, things that are certainly a bit louder as well, but I think there's a good spread of, of particular songs on there, and the thing I, I mentioned yesterday in an audio book, and I'll, I'll post links to that down there, because I've, I've, I've talked about this a fair amount there, was the aspect that I've come across, I'm trying to sell this now, yes we know there's there's people that are interested in it. Obviously, the musicians that are on there are going to try and get their friends to buy it and that type of thing. But you come across that sort of barrier um, that people have against local music. Um, how that works, I found it out the other day with my wife. We were listening to the particular CD in the car. I wanted to get some idea of what it sounded like in the car, you know, different environments and see how it worked and, and also what she thought of it as well. And afterwards, you know, it finished and I said, yeah, that's it. What do you reckon? Well, that's good, isn't it? A lot better than I thought it would be. And I thought, what, what do you mean by that exactly? Well, you never expect local music to be good, do you? And that, that's one of those things that I hadn't really considered. Putting this together, because I, for those who aren't aware, I've sort of co-produced it with a fellow singer-songwriter who's one of the people on the CD and is there by merit, by the way. Um, but I've sort of compiled it by... The sort of people that I know, the music that I've played on Hastings Rock, having dealt with sort of local music for some time now, for a good few years. So I knew just about every band. There's only one person on there that I discovered before I did this, and Ian, the person I co-produced it with, pointed me to him, and I thought, well, that's good, so I'll certainly be playing him again. Um, so I knew all the music, I knew all the artists, and hence it was easier probably for me to put, put it together in that respect, uh, knowing about it and having a pretty wide interest in music as well and sort of sequencing it if that's the right word and sort of trying to balance it all out certain things i didn't put on there because bands that i might or artists that i might have used i thought no i don't think that's going to fit this time there's possibility that i may be doing this again but people had that sort of barrier against local music and people have said to me i was trying to sell some the other day at an event and people said oh, well, oh it's local music don't want to be interested in that but as i pointed out in the audio boo yesterday Everybody, every band, every artist is local to somewhere or other, aren't they? So you, you have that sort of barrier. It's that sort of barrier that people have. Oh, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm not going to watch that because I don't like it. I don't like the name of that. I don't like that type of music or that type of thing. You need to have an open mind. You need to have an open ear policy, which is what I do. I understand the bit of, rest, the sort of hesitancy there because I've heard <laughs> local CDs or local music in the past and you thought, hmm, it isn't very good. Believe me, the music that's on this is very good and hopefully we'll get some, I mean, the comments that I've had from people so far, but also I've asked everybody of the artists that I've sent it to and said, you know, give me your feedback, what do you think? And the people who've commented so far said, yeah, that's good, there's a good spread of people, so oh, there's some good people on there. And that's part of the idea of it. 
A, of course, we're trying to raise money for the Hastings Parent White Rock Trust. Yes, that's that's that was the spark. That's the right word after the fire. The Freudian slip there, maybe. Um, but that was that's what started it all off. But I wanted to do this for some time. Even in Hastings Rock Times, we've talked about putting out a local CD. But this seemed the right time. It's just right. You know, the, the momentum was there. The, the musicians wanted to do something, and this is a great way for them to do something. A better way for a musician to get involved and to use their music. That's what they're best at isn't it so put that out there and see how it goes and say so I've wanted to do this for some time so I'm pleased that it's, it's now got off the ground that we're selling it now and hopefully we can do it again and make some money but as I said the other reason apart from the raising the money angle is to actually put the, the music out there to hopefully a wider audience to get people involved because you've probably got local music in your town which you're not aware of it doesn't matter how good you are you know how well versed in local music there's bound to be people out there that you don't know or know about and you can discover great bands one of the reasons that I've always been so keen on local music is because I've found out that in this town especially obviously I don't know so much about other towns but there's such a wealth of talent right across the board the older people more established artists but also the younger up-and-coming singers, songwriters, bands, etc. as well. There's some great music out there. This is a way of encouraging them in some ways as well because so many people probably fall by the wayside who have got the potential to go a bit further because they don't get the support. Hopefully, with something like this, we can actually give them a bit of support, get them out there, get their music out there into the wider world, maybe get some of them a bit more exposure and who knows where that might might bring them in the future or take them to, should we say. So if you, you're interested in this, maybe you could do this for your hometown and then maybe you could all hear your music. But there you go, so there, that's that's the update. We've actually got the CD now. There, now's the time to try to sell it. I've been in contact with various different people. Local paper are going to do something about it. I've done interviews on BBC, uh, sort of local radio as well. I was contacted by a local radio station today to try and find out how many... CDs we'd sold, it's a bit early for that yet, and must admit, I haven't really thought about that side of things at the moment. I doubt it's too many at the moment, to be honest. But we're just starting, as I said to the, the girl on the phone, we're just trying to get the publicity. I sent out press releases hoping to get some more exposure. So we'll see what those people might do. But um, if you're interested, we've got a website, and I'll put a link to the website down there as well, which will explain a bit more about it and a bit more information as well. So thanks for your time. I hopefully. Lord here, I can't play it at the moment. No, no copyright issues because I've got permission to use it, but um, my voice. <laughs> I do that instead of trying to put music on it and drowning, drowning myself out. So there you go. I'm very pleased and proud to have been involved in this and to finally got it off the ground. It's only been two months and that's not bad. I said this to one of the musicians yesterday. We did it again. Yes, maybe take a bit more time, maybe tweak it a little bit more. But we wanted it out. We wanted to get the exposure out there. And especially before Christmas, so people might want to buy it as a Christmas present. I'm sure if you're interested, we can still get a copy to you. So there you go. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.